Good evening, this is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital with a review of the trade of the day for February 11th, 2013. And so what we're looking at here is a combination chart, uh, a, a day trade in the little thumbnail uh, or daily time frame. And uh, this is um, a case study in how to combine uh, swing trade goodness with intraday turbo opportunities in order to trade around your primary swing trade position when you see moments of advantage uh, in the intraday trade. It has the advantage of giving you a directional bias um, on the intraday trade uh, because the swing trade theoretically has given you an advantage uh, for the longer term trend to go in a particular direction so you can be leaning in that way and then if you see something intraday that is tending to reinforce that you can enter with a little more confidence enter a little sooner with a tighter stop and then maybe take advantage of the contribution of the longer term trade so we're looking at uh, in the larger chart a three minutes uh, on XIV which is the uh, inverse volatility uh, ETF and we're looking at the usual setups with the Inner darker blue is the 30 period Bollinger Band plus or minus one, that's the river. And then the outer floodplain plus or minus two standard deviations. The thick black line is 30, day, uh, 30 period regression line. The uh, blue line, the curvy blue line is the 10 period regression line. The red thick line is the uh, 30 period simple move and average or the center line of the river or the center line of the Bollinger Band. Uh, purple is the volume weighted average price. Uh, this vertical blue line is this, uh, was when we started stalking um, the long side on XIV and then reds would be uh, initial initial stops. Um, so what what we're looking at is a uh, is a uh, long trade on the swing basis in XIV. Now the the market has been uh, got extremely quiet here during this run up and uh, it left the river down here uh, along around 19 and a half uh, went up to uh, almost uh, 23 uh, rolled over far enough to get a regression line crossover came back got pretty uh, violent inside here uh, but never even came back to the river to test the midpoint of the Bollinger Band uh, found support then the volatility narrowed and started uh, um, the quiet started to increase. So XIV is going up as the market resumes its um, uh, reduction in volatility. Uh, when the ribbon pinches, that's starting to tell you that it's getting directional. And what's interesting on this long spike down, uh, it was not accompanied by the river and then what that or by the ribbon, which is the two period Bollinger band. What that tells you is is that was a, an anomaly and that really the trend is going up. And so, we're able to enter uh, inside that uh, upon the resumption um, of price getting here. We don't even have to wait for it to get back to the river. So on the swing trade basis, we've got an entry in here about 21.50 with a 50 cent stop, and it's moved up uh, two and a half uh, more days, and it's going to at least go up and test this uh, recent swing high. And if it gets through there, this thing could really run. So, uh, so we have a long-term bias in XIV, and now uh, intraday what we've got is we had a sell-off in, um, in XIV, which meant volatility was increasing because it's inverse to the VIX. Um, and then uh, it made a uh, turn at uh, two standard deviations and then uh, re-entered uh, the river, crossed the Bollinger Band mean. The, notice the 30-period regression line never even crossed the Bollinger Band mean and uh, continued straight up. So that was that's a positive sign that the previous day's long-term trend is still continuing because there's a carryover from yesterday's momentum. Um, and so we get this little regression line crossover here in the middle of the river. And, and on the basis of the swing trade, uh, I now am ready to uh, enter as soon as it uh, leaves the river here. And so we get an entry at 22.15. Instead of waiting for the beginning of trending behavior up in here while I'm waiting for the 30 period to leave, that would give me an entry up in here. I actually get about a 25 cent improvement, uh, which on a 0.15 initial stop is almost a 2R improvement by having the uh, swing trade 
give me a favorable read to the upside. So we're able to get in a little bit earlier with a 22.15 and a tighter stop than normal. Uh, it makes a rapid run with only a slight hesitation and another slight hesitation. Uh, I, I see the regression, the 10 period reg regression line crossing over, uh, price starting to decay. The thin ribbon starts becoming a fat ribbon here, and that tells me, hey, that's enough to get out uh, on an early morning trade. So we get out at 22.40. So that's a 25 cent move on 15 cent risk, which is a, a little over one and a half R. Uh, it chops around for most of the day, gets a sideways quiet channel. I was uh, involved in teachings, or, or I might have tried this play here, which probably would have scratched um, this uh, when it leaves the river. Uh, but when I come back from class, I'm looking in the last hour of the day, and the market still has been generally up after this initial surge. It was really failure to fail further, and, a, and a, uh, an upward bias here uh, as we read the Bollinger Band in the river. Now we've got some expanding volatility. It dips down to the bottom of the river, comes out just a little bit, and then resumes. Notice that the strength of the 30 period regression line never even crosses the Bollinger Band mean. So now when price reverses, crosses the Bollinger Band mean, I'm ready to enter again inside the last hour uh, when it leaves the river at uh, 2243, again with a 15 cent stop here. It would have to cross the Bollinger Band mean and leave the river to get, to get us out. It doesn't, it takes off, has a slight pullback, and the ribbon doesn't even come into the river. Notice that the ribbon does not accompany that little spike, so that's sort of a false signal. The volume is being traded in here inside the river. Uh, it resumes, and now getting close to the, uh, uh, to the close of the day, it spikes up a little over 2260 and pulls back. The regression line crossover is occurring. Go ahead and get flat uh, before the day is done at 2253, and that's point. Uh, that's about 0.7 R, 10 cents, uh, 0.66 R. Sorry, it should read 0.6 instead of 0.8. And so that's, uh, we didn't get a full meal on this one, but we did get a sandwich. And if you don't want 0.8 R, you can, uh, I'm happy to have you send it to me. Uh, and so in, in this case, we have a directional bias then because of the uh, core position we have on the swing. Now, as long as the swing trade is active, uh, I'm going to have a bias to trading XIV only to the long side because now the intraday move is starting to confirm the um, the daily uh, time frame move and that gives us the ability again to have a directional bias intraday and favor that direction um, and and uh, stay with the primary trend. So that's uh, that's a couple R today in, um, in the core and turbo technique looking at XIV and the regression line crossover on multiple time frames. Thanks for your kind attention.